choose the most appropriate answer an alloy is made of metal a and b in the ratio 2 is to 3 in each step we add metals a and b to the alloy equal to 20% and 5% of weights of metal a and b respectively at previous step which step onwards will the alloy contain more than 50% of metal a here a and b is in the ratio 2 is to 3 means a is 40% and b is 60% because 2 plus 3 is 5 part 5 part as 100 percentage means 1 part as 20 percentage now in each step 20 percentage and 5 percentage of weights of metal a and b at previous step is added which means we are calculating the compound interest for the principal 40 and 60 at the rate of interest 20 percentage and 5 percentage now instead of this compound interest i will calculate simple interest and amount then i can solve this faster so just calculate simple interest now here rate of interest is 20 and 5 so for a 20 percentage of 40 principal 40 is equal to 8 and here for b it is 5 percentage so 5 percentage of principal 60 is equal to 3 10 percentage is 6 then 5 percentage is 3 now every year 8 and 3 unit is added that is 41st year amount will become 40 plus 8 48 and 60 plus 3 63 In the second year, amount will become forty-eight plus eight, fifty-six, and sixty-three plus three, sixty-six. In the third year, amount will become fifty-six plus eight, sixty-four, and sixty-six plus three, sixty-nine. In the fourth year, amount will become sixty-four plus eight, seventy-two, and sixty-nine plus three, seventy-two. Now you can see this is your answer. That is option C. In the fourth step. Alloy contain more than fifty percentage of metal A. Here, actually, this is seventy two is to seventy two. That means alloy contain fifty percentage of metal A and fifty percentage of metal B. But this is simple interest. Question is asking about compound interest. This at simple interest A is equal to B. So if I add compound interest, that is compound interest at the rate of twenty percentage four. The amount forty is greater than compound interest at the rate of five percentage for the amount sixty because here twenty percentage is four times five percentage. So a greater than b if I add compound interest. So option C is your answer. If you want to calculate it using compound interest, a is forty percentage and b is sixty percentage. Then in the first step, twenty percentage of forty is added. That is forty plus eight forty eight. Again, five percentage of sixty is three, so sixty plus three, sixty-three. In the second step, again twenty percentage of forty-eight is added to forty-eight, so that will become forty-eight plus nine point six, fifty-seven point six. Again, ten percentage of sixty-three is six point three, five percentage is three point one five, so this will become sixty-six point one five. Again, in the third step, twenty percentage of fifty-seven point six is added to Fifty-seven point six. So this will become sixty-nine point one two, and this will become sixty-nine point four five. And in the fourth step, twenty percentage of sixty-nine point one two is added to sixty-nine point one two. That is, this will become eighty-two point nine, and this will become seventy-two point nine. You can see that in the fourth step, A is greater than B. Option C is your answer.